they've done it. After two days of intense meetings, the 13 members of the jury have selected six winners. A total of 29 architecture firms submitted their designs in a tender procedure. All designs were anonymized, meaning that the jury did not know to which six offices they had awarded the prizes until the competition was over. First prize was awarded to the design drawn up by Basel architect's Morga partner. These were two hard days of very intense discussions. Again, I've had the opportunity to learn a great deal about architecture. However, this makes it all the more pleasant when you come to a harmonious and overwhelmingly unanimous result following two days of debate. The idea behind this construction project is to bring together all the employees working for the Bundesbank's central office in Frankfurt at the bank's campus on Wilhelm Epsteinstraße as part of the single-site strategy. At present, roughly half of its staff operate from various locations spread across Frankfurt's city centre. The new campus will be a modern working environment for up to 5,000 employees that can be flexibly adapted to changing requirements. I'm proud that we have two key institutions here with the ECB on one side of the city and the Bundesbank, which is reinforcing its local presence on the other side. We consider ourselves lucky to have such institutions in our city. This interests and excites people. All of the designs for the planned new buildings on the Frankfurt Central Offices campus are based on the urban design framework developed by Frankfurt architecture firm Ferdinand Heide Architect. Their design had previously emerged as the winner of the Bundesbank's urban design competition. Their approach was to leave the existing building as an urban crown and to build three additional high-rise slabs perpendicular to the main building. The first prize entry by Morga Partner is a very coherent refinement of the urban design proposal by Ferdinand Heide, and in my view, it has a very clear structure, whilst at the same time generating an appealing tension through differences in the designs of each building complex. In this sense, the design frames the old main building, which symbolizes the Bundesbank and its culture of stability, in a pleasing way without thereby dominating this old building. What is particularly special is that the cash management building, which is located in the middle and which has been somewhat neglected in many designs, is contrasted with a second building that has roughly the same dimensions, giving us a trio. The three slabs at the front, then two lower buildings and the main building at the back, like a kind of spine. The jury, which was made up of renowned architects, representatives of the Bundesbank and the city of Frankfurt, also rated the design's key economic figures highly. In particular, the well-organized floor plan maximizes spatial efficiency. I am very happy with the result because my expectations regarding the quality of all of the submitted designs have been exceeded. And I would also just like to say that we had a serious and deep debate without stepping on anybody's toes or arguing with each other. Rather, we discussed the best ideas and the best content, taking an academic approach. I thought that was very, very good auseinandergesetzt und zwar im akademischen Sinne und das fand ich sehr sehr gut heute. The Deutsche Bundesbank is the central bank of Germany. It was established in 1957 and its central office has been based in Frankfurt am Main since then. The main building which can be classified as a classic modern building in terms of architecture is to be renovated extensively as part of the campus project. This renovation and the construction of the new buildings demonstrate the Bundesbank's commitment to Frankfurt as a business location. The German Architecture Museum in Frankfurt will be exhibiting all of the designs publicly from the 16th of July to the 18th of October. Admission is free.